Oh, there's a beast. So these are called gold coin turtles. And the reason they got that name is these turtles were purported to cure cancer. The use of turtles in traditional Chinese medicine has probably been going on for thousands of years. Certain key species are thought to have extra medicinal properties. That led to their quick demise in the wild and their overcollection. This is a yellow-headed box turtle. This is a species that probably less than 100 animals left in the wild. Without intervention, turtle species around the world are in real trouble, and we could permanently lose species. And so it's the goal with the Bronx Zoo to make sure that that doesn't happen. The turtles are part of a, an assurance colony. We can keep the adults, produce young, share the young between other zoos. And eventually, we have the large enough numbers, we could reintroduce these turtles back into the wild. This is one of our female Chinese yellow-headed box turtles. This female has bred for us consistently in the past, so she is a really important part of the breeding program. We're going to feed her some earthworms today. She's looking at me. She's so ready. Look at that. She's coming right up. There you go. Earthworms are a good source of calcium and protein, and we need these females to have enough protein and calcium in order to produce healthy eggs. And they had a great year this year. It was these two that did the majority of the breeding. Nice job, turtles. Yeah, way to go. We are going to check up on our Chinese yellow-headed box turtle eggs. They're very close to hatching, so hopefully within the week or two, we'll have some more babies. There are five eggs currently incubating in this clutch. We're just checking up on the eggs. I'm looking for any signs of mold growth. Uh, mold growth would indicate that either the embryo has died or the egg is infertile. But they're full, they're nice and white, the eggs are healthy, the eggshell is healthy. They're very close to hatching, so hopefully within the week or two, have some more babies. So we're going to go ahead and get a visual update on our yellow-headed box turtles. They hatched over the weekend. We have five new hatchlings. They've had some time to absorb their yolk, and hopefully they're hungry. Today on the menu, we have these delicious, delicious little black worms. They're perfect for teeny turtles. They wiggle a lot. The best part about coming to work every day is coming in first thing in the morning and seeing a little baby staring back at you. So part of the daily process is just to make sure they're growing nicely, their shells look normal, and they're acting normal. There's one just hanging out in the water right there. Come here, little guy. So I'm kind of just feeling around gently because they like to bury themselves in the moss. There is the last one. Covered in moss. Five total. Just a few days old. Now, you can see that some of them have these blue dots on their scutes. So each part of the a turtle shell is composed of scutes, which are made up of keratin, same thing that our fingernails are composed of in our hair. Um, specifically with turtles, we can mark a scute on their shell. We use nail polish. He has a blue dot on his first marginal scute. So you start towards the front of the turtle, and you can count along the sides here. And this is the first marginal scute, and that essentially identifies them the blue dots kind of go down the shells, indicating their number along those marginal skeets. So this guy is L1. All right, well, we can start weighing them before we put them back in. Eleven point two six. I take regular weights on these animals to ensure that they are eating and ensure that they are growing. Um, and a positive growth rate, of course, means a healthy, happy turtle. 
In a couple weeks, they'll go on exhibit. These turtles are ambassadors for their species. Just having them on exhibit will hopefully inspire people to value nature and these turtles in particular. So today, we're going to move our Chinese yellow-headed box turtles on exhibit. All right, you can go ahead and start grabbing some. We've hatched out five hatchlings, which is great. This is a great species to highlight the idea that you can have zoos essentially creating a reservoir of a genetically diverse population of turtles. Each one of the enclosures that we have in the nursery is considered an exhibit, so when the turtles hatch, we can place them on exhibit and people can see them and read about their story. These guys will be ambassadors for their species. Hi, little turtle. This is a whole new environment for them. It's a lot of new stimuli. They're kind of just swimming around right now trying to figure out where stuff is and what's going on. Eventually, they'll figure out where the nice warm spot is underneath the heat bulb, and they'll, they'll come out and bask. This is a critically endangered species. But these animals will grow, and eventually, they'll reproduce and continue to add to the number of individuals within the assurance colony. One day, we can potentially repatriate them back into the wild when you see these cute little tiny turtles. It's a fantastic feeling, especially when you're contributing to the survival of the species.